Well, hey everyone, uh, this is episode 20. It's episode 20. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's my Craig Halp. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, we start off this episode the same way we started off the other episodes. Uh, one of the images from the art storybook, uh, this one's number 11. Uh, we're also working with the uh, worksheet, getting the design ready and finalized to get it to the canvas. And then musical guest for the ending credits is Evelyn Roper, all the way from Colorado. Uh, so, let's go. So here we go, painting number 11 of the 48, as they occur in sequence, somehow, <laughs> in the art storybook. <laughs> yeah, I got lost there for a second. Uh, as always, we're going to take a look at how it appears in the book as the doodle, the worksheet, and the finished painting. Uh, so over to the easel. Okay, Bob. Great, thank you. Uh, this doodle right here, circled in red, that's the doodle I used for painting number 11 of the 48. Uh, but a sidebar, I created two finished works from this, uh, this particular doodle. The first, a watercolor pen and ink color pencil, and that follows the design of this doodle a little more closely than number 11, uh, particularly the sphere on top as an eye and the eyebrow. Uh, I'll show you that one first, and then to the worksheet uh, for painting number 11. Okay, this is my first attempt of a finished design of that particular doodle. Uh, this is the watercolor, color pencil, and pen and ink. Uh, the background is the color pencil. That's about seven, six or seven layers of squiggly color pencil markings. Uh, the particular area I wanted to discuss was in the right, right top area. That's that yellow sphere representing an eye and the black squiggly lines, the eyebrow. Uh, for some reason, uh, to, to the rest of the, the image and the narrative, it just came across as too abstract uh, to represent the eye and eyebrow. It just did not fit with the rest of the drawing uh, as much as I like it. Uh, so when I ha worked, got to this uh, oil painting project, I had an opportunity to redo it again as an oil painting and change up the design a little bit. Okay, this is the worksheet for painting number 11, and you can see right off the bat the changes I made up in that right-hand area that were in the uh, other image and the doodle. I moved the sphere off at the top of the shape and then around to the right side uh, to give it more of a facial look uh, like the one on the left. The, I also took out the eyebrows and I added some squiggly shapes to the left side that represented the hair and a little hair tie. And here's the finished painting, number 11 of the 48. Uh, this is titled Bob and Bob. It's 10 by 8, oil and canvas. Before we start in on the worksheet, I just want to take a, a moment to just give a real quick shout out, a thank you uh, to my fictitious twin brother, Oglethorpe, uh, for stopping in, uh, a nice visit, and doing a little small bit or part in the uh, last episode. Uh, right now, he's, uh, and he's on route back to his uh, double-wide mobile home trailer uh, back in Montana and uh, his wife and 12 kids miss him dearly. Uh, worksheet. Uh, last couple episodes, we did, did, had the doodle, did, did the grid lines to get ready to transfer, then did the grid lines on the worksheet, and then we trans started transferring the image into the worksheet, and we left off with just the real rough ideas of the transfer now we're going to start back in, start finalizing the, uh, the design. And with that, it, it's broken up into a couple segments as I, uh, as I worked on it. Uh, first segment, no talking. Uh, I'll stick a little music in the background uh, while you're watching it. Uh, and then there'll be a small break and then come back and then uh, do a little more finalization uh, and then do a little talking. See you in a bit.
All right, I listened to some blues. Actually, I listened to a bunch of music <laughs> over the course of a day or so while I uh, spent some time pondering uh, adjustments and changes that I might, I'm contemplating making on this worksheet. So rather than doing any more talking here, uh, let's just go right on into the worksheet and I'll talk a little bit more there, <laughs> okay? Okay, a little more uh, stops and starts with this filming portion. I'll try and make the transitions as smooth as possible uh, because I'm going to be working a little bit slower. Okay, so one of the first areas I'm dealing with is whether I'm looking at him straight on or I'm going to try and tilt him a little bit, uh, which means I've got to make this sleeve a little bit larger, this sleeve a little bit smaller. So I've got him on that angle. So again, I'm making that larger, the smaller, but since this is larger and on a tilt, I'm going to try and help this along by actually putting this hand in front of this one and see how that works. Okay, what I've got here is, is a pretty good idea. Again, I'm going to look at it for a touch more, and then I'll come back onto the film. Okay, I think I've got this as far as I as I can or need to go, uh, and I can start prepping this, getting this ready for transfer to canvas. Uh, any other adjustments, uh, changes, figuring out colors, all that will take place in the in the oil painting. With that, back to me. Okay, folks, end of episode number twenty, the big two O. Uh, it's, it's a wrap, as they say in the film industry. Uh, we viewed episode, we didn't view episode, we viewed painting number 11. Uh, also, uh, for next episode, it'll be painting number 12 of the 48 for the art storybook. And uh, we've got the worksheet all done and ready for transfer to the canvas, maybe a little painting. Uh, musical guest for ending credits is Evelyn Roper. Uh, some ni a, a real nice tune. And with that, uh, be good, be safe, and uh, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
chasing the sun why have you gone to share the day across the ocean send me night's child visit for a while and your face is reflected in her smile 